Hey everyone, this is Roberto Blake and welcome to another Photoshop CC tutorial video. In today's Photoshop CC tutorial video, I'll be showing you a technique for creating depth of field using smart filters and the blur gallery. If you're just tuning into the channel for the first time, I usually do Photoshop CC tutorial videos on Thursdays, graphic design videos on Mondays, and tech videos on Tuesdays. So go ahead and subscribe to get all of those videos every week. So let's go ahead and jump into this tutorial real quick and I'll show you what our original image looked like without the uh, blur that we applied to create our depth of field. So you can see in our original image that we picked up a lot of the detail uh, from the camera. There is some depth of field, but it's not as drastic as we might like. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I shot this at something like uh, f2.8 or something around that range. So it's not as drastic as if we had shot at uh, f1.4 or f1.8. Uh, so for those of you familiar with DSLRs, you'll know what I'm talking about there. Uh, if not, I'll be covering that in some of my introduction to DSLR video and DSLR photography tutorials. So stay tuned for those. But anyway, depth of field in this image is basically where we have our main subject in the foreground in focus and our background blurred out. So in order to create that effect, there's a couple of things we could do. We could manually go in and we could blur this or we could um, do what you've seen me do in other tutorials where I've um, used a Gaussian blur filter and a duplicate of the background and then just use masking. That's a perfectly valid way to do that. but. a little more subtle. Another thing you can do is uh, you can use this wheel right here and you can actually adjust the blur using this wheel if you don't want to use the slider.
Right, so you can see the effect that that creates, and that actually looks really good. Uh, that looks subtle. It looks like we actually did it with the camera, and that's what we're going for here. And this is why I'd rather we do it this way if we're just working with an already great photograph than do the other effects where we could, um, you know, use the Gaussian blur filter and then just manually paint it in there with masking. This is a lot more... Um, you know, precise in my opinion. This is a better way to do it and it's a little more subtle and it approaches it the way that we did with uh, photography if we actually were using a depth of field technique. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Like this video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out the other Photoshop CC tutorial videos in my series. And of course, as always, thank you for watching.